How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Air TV. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this holiday. It's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas. Big day. Well, hopefully, by the time I do this video, today will be Christmas Eve. Tomorrow will be Christmas. But I just wanted to quickly go on over the update for the Google Pixel 6. This phone has been waiting for the December update for quite some time already and I never got it through Google itself over the air OTA updates so I said fine forget it I'll do it myself so I went ahead and I sideloaded it uh, using ADB now I'm not going to show you how to set up ADB just because it was a pain in the butt for me to do it I did this years ago and it's been on my computer ready to go whenever I need it but I will show you uh, some of the files you can download and how to go ahead and boot this into recovery mode and to update it. The process was pretty quick. It took about 10-15 minutes to uh, fully do it and it did update to the latest December update for the Google Pixel 6. So that is really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what files to download depending on your region that you are in and how easy it is to do it. I'm not going to go through the full uh, process of doing it just because I've already done it and I don't want to screw up my phone. But I will show you how to do it really quick and show you that uh, the differences as far as what this December update may have fixed. So let's jump down into it and go down to the computer, shall we? Before we do, go ahead and subscribe, guys. Come on, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm or whatever the hell YouTube is doing for my videos. And come on, I need some more subscribers. A lot of you people watching my videos aren't subscribed. So please, 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 please subscribe to Sick Eric TV. Let's go. All right, so here we are. I will post a link in the description for uh, Google's Play Services or for their website where it shows the full OTA updates. That's the one you're gonna want to use, not the factory images that will uh, pretty much reset your phone. You're gonna want to look for the OTA updates. And as you can see, there are quite a bit here for T-Mobile, Verizon, and then the uh, regular one from uh, Google, which is the, um, I guess the global variant and uh, the update that was on here before for the longest time was this one to where it says 12.0.0 and it's going to be to where it doesn't specify Verizon or EMEA carriers or anything or US carriers. It's just going to be the plain and simple OTA update. This was the one from November. And then if you keep on going down here, you'll see the same type for December, which is SQ1D. And then it says the December, it does not specify any carriers as these do down here, AU carriers. And you're just gonna want to click download for that one, click on the link. And it will download it. Now I've already got the zip on here in my files. So if I go over here and then open up my uh, file manager, I've already got the zip right here loaded into my minimal ADB fastboot folder, easy to get to. And uh, let's go ahead and jump down into it, shall we? So you're gonna open up whatever ADB you use, which is for me, I use minimal ADB. And as far as your phone goes, you're going to want to make sure that you go into developer settings, which if you don't know about developer settings, if you go into about phone and go click on build number about seven times, it will unlock developer settings. You go into system, developer options, and you're going to want to make sure that you enable USB debugging. Make sure that is turned on on your device. So you're gonna go ahead and plug in your device and make sure that uh, USB debugging is turned on. So phone is connected. You're gonna go over here in your fast boot. You're gonna click AD, 
B devices and it's going to bring up your some numbers serial numbers and the device itself and then you're going to want to click ADB reboot recovery and your phone will automatically go to recovery mode and give that a minute and as you can see right there you see the little android dead on the ground with a little exclamation mark coming out of it so you're going to hold the power button and the volume up button so it's hold the power button and the top volume up button and then you're going to hold it down for a couple seconds and let go of the volume button and here you get some options for reboot system reboot bootloader you're going to want to scroll down to apply update from adb click the power button and you're going to see a little section down here to where it will show um, the progress of your download so next thing you're going to do is go ahead and go back to that website and it will show you how to do all of this stuff as far as the adb side load so you're going to want to go down and click adb devices again so just to make sure that everything is working and everything is connected and it should show your serial number on there if it'll pop up and of course right there side load and then it also says your next load is going to be ADB side load and then your OTA. So you're gonna go back over here and then you're gonna want to bring up that file where you have your, your uh, firmware downloaded to which is the uh, OTA right here, it's a zip. You're gonna do ADB side load space and then you're just gonna drag drop this onto the section right here and you're gonna hit enter and it'll go through the process of updating your phone you'll see a little uh, percentage showing you the progress of how it's going while you're updating so everything will update and then once you're done you should be able to reboot your phone and everything will be just fine as far as applying your update and then once you are done you're just going to want to go ahead and click reboot system now and once that is done your phone will reboot and you will have the latest ota update for your google pixel 6. so i went ahead and did this just because google was taking too damn long with this update i don't know what the deal was uh, they just did not want to give it to everybody and this is an unlocked model from google and it's not a variant uh it's not from a carrier or anything so it is from google and it just took forever to update this device and just to check to see that it has updated you'll see a little progress up here saying system update um, has been applied and it'll go through the uh, progress bar on that and everything will be just fine and everything will load up and boom you'll have the latest december update and you can do this for any update that comes out so if you don't want to wait check this website and there might be a new update there waiting for you you can go ahead and do it yourself and not wait on google so as far as that update and what it fixed it did fix the uh, fingerprint sensor so it is a lot quicker as you can see right there just going on to the fingerprint and boom you do not have to set your finger on there as long uh, as you did before you'd have to actually just set it on there one two and then it'll unlock your device now you could just tap it on there and boom it unlocks the device pretty quickly uh, no issues whatsoever everything seems to be fixed especially if you go into uh, system and developer options and for me and everybody else if you were to mess with any of the window animations say the animator duration scale and set that to 0.5 it would break the fingerprint icon from showing on your always on display and it wouldn't show the battery percentage they just disappear for some reason and now that you set everything to 0.5 
everything works perfectly on here. Another issue that I was having was the refresh rate and the refresh rate would automatically default back to 60 Hertz. Uh, as you can see right here, it is at 90 Hertz and it would automatically go back to 60 Hertz just on its own, even though the settings show a high refresh rate for some reason. And once you reboot the device, everything goes back to normal. And as you can see right here, no issues. Another thing you could do just to be safe is force peak refresh rate in your developer option settings. And this will make sure that it does stay at 90 Hertz if anything goes wrong. So as far as that goes, uh, that seems to be fixed on this latest update. Uh, performance on here seems to be a little bit better as well. Cameras, um, I haven't taken too many pictures on here, but it's supposed to improve camera quality and picture quality taken on the Google Pixel 6. But the main things for me were that fingerprint sensor being really slow. Yes, it's accurate, blah, blah, blah. It's really secure, but it is a lot slower than any other devices out there. But this latest update has fixed that and boom, this thing is fast. This phone performs really nicely now, um, hardly any issues. I did have a little bit of lag here and there to begin with, but with this latest update, it seems to have fixed a lot of the issues that I was concerned about, which was mainly that fingerprint sensor, uh, being able to change the animations, which now everything is just flying really smooth because Android 12 animations are very drawn out and they look cool and all, but they are very drawn out. I just wanted everything to be a little bit more snappier and quicker when going through your menus and things like that. And another thing was the refresh rate being fixed. So no more drop refresh rates. It will not go down to 60 Hertz on its own, despite having your display settings switched to smooth display it would always go down to 60. Now it stays at 90. So that is a huge improvement for the Google Pixel 6. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Links will be posted down below. That way you guys can go check out uh, the OTA website for Google. And I will try to find a link to show you how to install ADB onto your computer and get that rolling for you. But for me, uh, I've already had it on there and yeah, I'll try to post a link that way you guys check it out. But if you already have ADB set up on your computer, go ahead and just sideload it. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Stop waiting for Google and just do it already. Thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.